I don't get it. It's very confusing to me. And when I say confusing, I mean, I don't, I just don't understand. It's just not computing to me how the President of the United States of America can drop the ball on something like this. Puerto Rico is basically the United States of America. And we're trying to find out why this, like, why is it so hard for the government to get help to Puerto Rico? It just, it just baffles me. I'm, I'm just totally shocked. He, he rather talk about the Dallas Cowboys. He rather talk about the NFL, but people who are dying and and dying over there in the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico, the American citizens that you have in Puerto Rico, you don't even care about that. He's talking about a debt. Now he's talking about he will go, not this week, but next Tuesday, he's going to go to Puerto Rico. They don't want you to go to Puerto Rico. They want you to get something done in Puerto Rico. They don't want you going over there so you can walk around the crisis and shake some hands. People are trying. He's blocking people that's trying to send support. That's what don't make any sense. And the people there, they're very outraged with him. And this, this goes to damage everything that he's done as far as the response the government had for Texas, the response the government had for Florida. They sent people out right away and was on top of these things. But Puerto Rico is slow moving process. 3.5 million Americans were affected by Hurricane Maria. As the president announced during his visit, one Democratic congresswoman who was born in Puerto Rico warned him that the lack of attention to the disaster, you will make risk making it your Katrina. As we saw how the Bush administration blotched that whole uh, situation. Now, the White House said Tuesday that Trump has made additional disaster assistance available by authorizing an increase of the level of federal funding for debris removal and emergency protective measures. But it took the president five full days to respond to the plight of the U.S. territory. When he finally did so Monday night, his comments on Twitter were so devoid of empathy it threatened to spark a whole new controversy. See, on the heels of of this uh, dispute, he single-handedly provoked African Americans, sports figures, protesting against racial equality, and turned the whole thing off of off of Texas, Florida, and all the other things. And this is what he said. Texas and Florida are doing great, but Puerto Rico, which was already suffering from a broke infrastructure and massive debt, is in deep trouble. The U.S. territory was hit by Maria soon after the two states were struck by Harvey and Irma. You believe that? Trump acknowledged that much of the island was destroyed, but went on to say that electric 
grid was already in terrible shape and that Puerto Rico owed billions of dollars to Wall Street and the banks, which sadly must be dealt with. So what he's saying is, I ain't going to help them because they owe us some money. Is that what you're saying? So now, his lack of empathy and lack of help in the situation <clears throat> he keeps saying, oh, they'll be back. The, the people of Puerto Rico will be back. They're all important to all of us. But yet, he's doing, he's not doing anything that he's supposed to be doing. It's taking him five days to even acknowledge it. And then when he did, it's so dismissive of the situation that these are the people you voted for. This is sad. And he's keep blaming a grid. Well, the grid was in bad shape before it got hit. It didn't get hit by one. It got hit by two hurricanes. And they were among the biggest we've ever seen. We are unloading at an hourly basis massive loads of water and food supplies for Puerto Rico. And it isn't like Florida where we can go right up to the spine or Texas where we go right down the middle and distribute. This is a thing called the Atlantic Ocean. This is tough stuff. The governor has been so incredible with his statements about the job we're doing. We're doing a great job. We're doing a great job. Everybody has said it's an amazing job we've done in Puerto Rico. We're very proud of it, and I'm going there on Tuesday. What job have you done? What job have you done? Okay, let me put this in perspective here. Puerto Ricans, five days after the hurricane was struck, the U.S. president had not been with them. Five days after they've been struck, the president has not been there. About 700 federal emergency management, you know, FEMA staff was on the island and in a total of 10,000 federal workers carrying out search and rescue missions and supplying basic foods and water. But Trump spent those five days in a battle with the NFL and the, and the other athletes for not wanting to come to the White House. Oblivious to the plight of millions of Hispanic Americans that helped this nation in a national disaster zone. At the same time he was doing all of this, he had American citizens in Puerto Rico who were in desperate need of attention. What Trump did, he has not said one word about them, about the American citizens in the U.S. Virgin Islands. I'm not sure he even knows that Puerto Ricans are American citizens. But but to say stuff like, we're on our way. When? Mark Cuban has dedicated a um, his plane to help get supplies over there. He's like, I'll give you my plane to help get supplies back and forth. You guys need a plane? There you go. <coughs> And you basically go on there and blame Puerto Rico for their debt as the reason you have not helped. It's insulting. And people should be offended if you're Puerto Ricans. New York Democrat, of course a Democrat, but Joe Crowley said it was absolutely ridiculous. 
When people are suffering and dying and losing their family members, you're bringing up debt and money. And this is a president who used bankruptcy throughout his entire career to maintain his wealth. Talking about a country financial status quo. So what do you got to say about that for all you people who were from Puerto Rico, you who voted for Trump? This is the guy you elected. 